if you care that much about humanity, do you care about what happened in Ukraine? Russia is dropping bombs and killing people because these people are dying for real. Ain't no Asian here dying in the street. Uh, but you know what? You don't care about that. You know why? Because they don't look like you. Hi guys, good afternoon. Here in this beautiful Saturday afternoon, we are here, me and my family, having a nice coffee in Flory Cafe in Romulo Betacourt. And I want to talk about this. Okay. Gracias. I just want to talk about this subject because I know it is very, you would call it hot at the moment. It is a lot been going on and a lot of news going on about the situation in uh, Haiti and Dominican Republic. And I very often get messages of people asking, what do I think or what is my opinion about the situation? And I know they want to see or they want to get my feeling of how I'm going to be what I'm going to be saying, or if I'm going to be defending the Dominican Republic, or if they expect me to uh, to apologize, or I don't, I don't know what some people expect for me to say, and I can no apologize for being Dominican. I'm sorry. This is a situation that we have been I uh, have for many years, and that is a situation that is just part of our, uh, I would say, our history. And most people would say, okay, yeah, you don't feel it because it's not a trick to you or because you are Dominican and it's not happening to you. But I'm here to say this. This has more to do with politics than race and color of the skin. I know everybody wants this to be a race thing and that is not what it is. I feel like every country have the right to defend the border. So before I get started, I want to say I don't condone any mistreatment of anybody. It doesn't matter what race, color of the skin, country, or anything. I mean, mistreat to another human being is bad, and I do not condone anything to happen. But what I don't understand is why every time that this situation comes around, because this is the situation here, they always gonna be going on here in Dominican Republic. Why? Because we share border with Haiti. And one question that all the people ask, and it always gets me, it is the people ask, why Dominican government treat Haitian the way they treat it? But I think that the very important question that people forget is, why Haitian government treat Haitian the way they treat it? I think that question is more important than why the Dominican government treat Haitian the way they treat it. So every time that you ask, or somebody asks, why Dominicans treat Haitian the way they treat it, the immediately answer, the answer is because they black. But ask yourself this question, why Haitian government treat Haitian the way they do? Or how, why Haitians treat all the Haitians the way they do? Why? Because they black? That is the answer that you have, or you have another answer for that? Or if you can put an answer, let me know. And I will admit, it's a lot of tension going on between Haiti and Dominican Republic. And sometimes, Haitians get mistreated. I will admit to that. But come on, do you think that all the time that that happened is because they're black? These two countries have a long history. A long history of political issues that have nothing to do with uh, being black or color of the skin. Yeah, I want to ask you this. Have you watched the news? Do you see all the things going on over there? You see they got violence, the kidnapping, the killing. All this is going on over there? I mean, who wants that to bring, who wants that in their country? Who wants to, from you know, one country to bring that to another country? Nobody wants that. So why is it a problem every time the Dominicans try to protect the border? And people be calling they are humane, they are racist. But let me ask you, this is the very, very most important to me than anything. And it's 
the most people should be doing that. Just you know why? Because they human. Because you care about another human being. Because you you care about what's going on to other people. But most people don't do it because of that reason. Most people do it because they feel a personal attack to who they are and what they are. That this is racist is because it's black and that is not the reason. If you care that much about humanity, do you care about what's happening in Ukraine? Russia is dropping bombs and killing people because these people are dying for real. Ain't no Haitian here dying in the street. Uh, but you know what? You don't care about that. You know why? Because they don't look like you. <laughs> See, we, it's all about the color of the skin. Let me ask you this. When this is the same thing is going on protecting the border in the U.S. with Mexico, and they picking all the Mexicans, sending them back to the to Mexico. Did you care about what happening to them? They have family that they need food to eat and all that. Do you care about what happened to them? Do you? Do you make comments? Do you go to a chat, talk about it and make comments? Do all that? Do you do? You do that? No, you don't. You know why? Because they don't look like you. So this is not about human being. This is not about decency. This is not about care about what happened to all the people. This is just care about what people love to talk about. And it's what? Racism. That's what everybody loves to talk about. Racism. It does what everybody make it up to be. And it's not, all the time it's not like about that. It's just not about the color of the skin. So I'm going to say the post that uh, Christina put it on her channel. The post that I agree with. And it's the same people that you see making comments and saying things will not take food. And you know why? You know what they're gonna say? What they don't, instead of buying a bike ticket over here to San Domingo, they don't buy a bike ticket to Puerto Rico because it's not safe in there. So they don't feel safe. So why you call that us? Because we are, we are trying to protect our borders and keep our safety. And let me be clear, I'm not saying that all Haitians are bad, or I'm not generalizing. I know that most of the Haitians that are here are good people, are very hard workers, working people, because I see that every day. Every day that you go on this street, you have to see it. They just here working and making a type of living. But at the same time, it is a process for everything. And it's a lot of illegal, illegal immigrants here. If you don't have a process, then what's gonna happen? And that's what they all they do, just trying to keep everything in order. And another thing that I see here, yeah, I feel the people try to make it to me, is like this is a thing between Haitian to Dominican. This is, like this is personal, like this is a war between Haitians and Dominican. Uh, when, if you come over here, you can see clearly it's not a, a war between Haitians and Dominican. They just be, if they see each other, try to fight and kill each other. That is not what's happening. Most of this thing that happens over here is between government and whatever situation is about political and government. So it's not like people try to make it seem. Oh, I mean, you have to say for yourself that you have visited. And most of the time, the people that are just making comments and say things because they've never been even in another country. They've never been here in another less. So another question that I've been getting, or comments that I've been getting from people is that um, Americans or black Americans that are coming and being picked up. Seriously? Come on, guys. So I know they say that they're picking up people for a port of entry. We're talking about for the entry, not like the airport. If you come with your legal document, you come with your passport, do you think they're gonna pick up, pick you up? But if you are in the wrong place, let's say in the border, and you look like the description they're looking for, of course you're gonna pick up. Let me put you this sample. Like the first time that I went to Sua. You remember that time when they were picking up prostitutes as well? Let's say that I was probably over there in that time. Yeah, I was just having fun on the street. If they were picking up females, if I was in the wrong place, you don't think that they're going to pick me up like I was a prostitute and that I have to explain that I'm not for them to let me go? Yeah, if they are picking up people, if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, of course, the chances are that you're probably going to get care of in that situation. So that would happen to anybody in any situation. So come on, do you think in a country where I would say 70% of the population look black, do you think they're picking up people because they're black? So that's what you want to believe? Ain't nothing that we can do about that. But the two points that I'm trying to get across here is, first, every country has the right to defend their border. Ukraine doing the same, United States do the same. 
Chicana is the same. So everybody has the right to protect the border. So it's all about race. So I don't know what is the problem with people and Dominican Republic. So my second point is to stop acting like you care so much about humanity because if you did, you wouldn't care about all the things going on around all the world. And you don't. The only thing you care about is that the situation just very close to you just because racism and protest. And this is the last time that I'm addressing this situation. I'm not talking about anymore about this situation between Haiti and Dominican Republic. So please don't send me any more comments or messages about it because I will delete it or not respond. The only thing, ain't nothing that you or me can do. The only thing that I can do is play my part and treat people the way that I want to be treated. And that is, if it, that is not good enough for you, then it's nothing that I can do. So, I... Stop acting like you care so much about humanity. Because if you do, Africa always have about that. <laughs> you have to be. <laughs> so the second thing is just stop acting like you care so much about humanity. Because if you do, you will. <laughs> so this situation is nothing that you, me, I do not condemn any mistreat or. Condones, I condemn. Condemn, condone. Condone. <laughs> condone. Condone, okay. <laughs>